Welcome to FUIME TV. I'm Earl Batman Stringer, and in this video, I got another movie review. I just watched this movie called Jezebel, right? Um, actually, where the hell did I see this? I rented it, right? I think it was on Redbox too. I think it's on Redbox. I'm not sure, but I actually rented it from the uh, video store. Anyway, this movie looked pretty damn good. Looked scary, right? So I'm like, you know, I get down. Something looks scary. I'm watching this shit. Period, right? Anyway, so like I said, the trailer looked pretty damn good, you know. So you know, I got it. Here's what I think. First of all, the movie's about this girl, uh, young lady. She gets in a car accident, and um, she ends up in a wheelchair, right? So she's in the hospital, and she ends up going back to her childhood home, right? So when she get back there, uh, her dad bring her back there. So basically, just her and her dad, you know. And um, so she in a little wheelchair rolling around and shit, whatever. And then she finds this this box with like this video, like a VHS tape in it. And when she put the tape in, it's her mom, right? Her mom is on there. Uh, her mom is dead, but her mom is on the videos, like kind of like talking to her and shit. Like I guess she made these vid. Her mom made the videos when she was pregnant with the girl. So it's kind of like weird shit, like this girl watching her mom, like, wow, mom, like, you made this shit for me, oh, oh, great mom, yeah. So, um, so basically the mom starts, like, giving her clues and shit, like, basically warning her, like, yo, it's a motherfucking house, they don't want you in there, whoop de woo you know, so shit gets real, right, shit gets real, because the girl keeps finding these tapes, and the more she watches these tapes, the crazier shit gets, right? So, there you have it. That's the, the, the premise of the movie, okay? Um, now, let's jump into it. The storyline. Storyline was pretty cool. Like, it was somewhat original. I, I kind of like the fact how she, how she, uh, my beard itch. How she found these tapes and everything. It was her mom and how she, the mom made the tapes before, like, when she was pregnant with the girl. That's kind of different, you know? That's kind of unique, right? Um, so then, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, yeah, like I said, that was that was cool, right? The acting wasn't no big time actors in the film or nothing like that, but it was good. It wasn't like that real cheesy shit. It really wasn't. It was decent acting and everything, so I can't complain about that. Um, you know, I gotta talk about the ending, right? The ending, um, it was it was it was okay. You know, what I mean, it was. You know, I it was it was all right, I guess. Like honestly, I kind of was like fading in and out and shit, cause a lot of shit was going on with the movie. But the ending was okay. It wasn't nothing spectacular, obviously, cause I wasn't too hype on it. But um, it was okay, right? Whatever. Um, overall, you know, my take on the movie it was it was it was okay. I mean, was it scary? You know, it. It kind of had its moments, you know. I, I'm not gonna say it wasn't scary, like it was, it, like it was corny. It wasn't. I mean, it had some moments in it, you know. Keeping it real, it had some moments. So, um, with all that being said, I'm gonna get this movie because, in my opinion, what well, you know, it could have been a little better. But I'm gonna get this a strong. Not nah, damn that, damn that, damn that. I'll give it a light, a light three, very light three. You know what I mean? Like, really, like, two, two, five. But I'll give it a light three because it was decent. In this day and age, it's hard to find a decent-ass scary movie. But, um, like I said, I'll give it that light three. Um, if you heard of this movie, Jezebel, right, watch it. I would recommend it. I would recommend watching it. You know what I mean? You ain't going to fucking be missing too much if you don't. But if you're into horror movies, I, I, I recommend you check it out. Um, if you already watched it, please let me know what you think. I let the chain hang. Yeah, I'm tattered up. And I love to cuss. I just don't give a fuck. See, I'm just doing me. And you should do you.